Greetings, gemstones, and welcome to the first episode of Hidden Gem. This will be a three-part series. This is part one of three of a Q&A so you guys can get to know me as a gamer a little bit better. But before I jump the gun, I would like to show you my t-shirt that I'm wearing. My wife actually made this for me, and I thought it was a really awesome surprise and something last minute to show me that she really likes to support my channel. So big ups to my wife. Thank you very much for that. Now, let's get started, shall we? Question one says, what's your favorite game of all time? And it's definitely a tough one for sure. I would really have to say that my favorite game of all time would probably have to be Metroid Prime on the GameCube. Now, I am a huge Metroid fan. I love the series. There are some games I didn't really enjoy. Metroid Prime Hunter. But Metroid Prime is my favorite game of all time. And I think it's mainly because of the fact that it's not your typical Metroid game. Um, for me, it felt more like a sci-fi detective game with sci-fi archaeology. Um, it wasn't a game for me that I just was trying to go out to kill people. I really enjoyed the fact that you had to scan the plants and the animals to get the information, study the archaeology of your surroundings, the discovery of the new worlds. It was mind-blowing to me, and I played through it multiple times. It's a game I will never, ever get tired of. The game mechanics with the different types of visors, the infrared, where you could see enemies and power conduits without the regular visor. Um, there was an x-ray visor, but it wasn't as good as the thermal. You could see some things, but it's more like shapes is what you'd really be able to see more than anything else. Um, I love the weaponry in it. The Wave Buster, for example. You had to use missiles in order to use it, which is a really neat uh, mechanic that I enjoy. The Charge Buster, which helped you absorb the little power pellets to help refill your life. That definitely helped me in some tough spots. Uh, the hook shot that allowed you to swing from platform to platform was a really neat idea as well, because that was new to me. Well, kind of new to me. I played it in Super Metroid, but and I just like the way they portrayed it in this one. Um, the exploration was fun. The game was challenging, but not too challenging. Um, and I beat it multiple times. It's gonna be in my number one spot. So, um, favorite game of all time, Metroid Prime. Question two, what's a game you thought you liked, but actually hated? Um, that's an easy one. That would probably be Saga Frontier 2 on the PlayStation. I didn't enjoy the story pacing of it. Um, you went between two different stories instead of one, so two different characters. You had characters come in on one story, but then they would leave very quickly, so you couldn't really care about them. Another story, you were a character who didn't know any magic while everyone else did, so you decided to become a blacksmith. Great choice on that one, I guess. Um, the gameplay wasn't very fun. I tried about eight to ten hours into it and I just 
didn't like it at all. I hated it. The first one, Saga Frontier, was very more enjoyable. I love that game so much. Uh, ended up trading Saga Frontier 2 for the Final Fantasy Anthology, the one that had a Chrono Trigger in it, with another friend. So it was a win-win on both halves. I loved Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger, of course, still do. He actually loved the Saga Frontier 2 game, so it worked out in that regards. But you know what I thought I'd like, but I hated Saga Frontier 2. I personally wouldn't recommend it, but if it's your cup of tea, give it a shot. Three, what's a really popular game that everyone seems to love but you don't like? <clears throat> Fortnite. I can't stand Fortnite. I'm never ever gonna get into Fortnite. It reminds me too much of that episode from Family Guy where Peter would blow the barn down and then the Amish guys would rebuild it and then he'd blow the barn down again and they rebuilt it again. I'm not really into Battle Royales anyways, but that's just not a game I'm ever, ever going to get into. I just, I don't see myself ever playing it. A lot of people are into it. Not me. I can't. I, I just can't. I'm never going to. So, game everyone else likes, but I don't. Fortnite. Question four. What's a game you didn't expect to enjoy? but ended up liking. That would be Mega Man Legends. I am a Mega Man fan by heart, but I didn't think I'd ever like Legends because it seemed too cartoony, childish, and the 3D environments didn't really appeal to me whatsoever. But when I gave it a shot, I was like, you know what, this game actually is kind of fun. It has the Mega Man 2D aspects of the platforming, and looking for items so i like that but i actually did enjoy the 3d environments um you know you were shooting everything of course which is also the 2d aspect but i enjoyed the story i enjoyed the fact that you would do all this exploration and how all the um digging sites actually kind of led up to be like one giant digging site which was kind of neat um you uh the pixel art was really awesome to look at i love pixel art um it actually kept me involved for the entire thing i beat it uh probably within like 20 hours so it was kind of short but I enjoyed the voice acting also, it was the very first Mega Man game I played where the voice actor was an actual guy. Most other Mega Man games, the voice acting is by a woman. So um, all in all, the gameplay, the mechanics, the story, it actually drew me in more than I thought it would and I enjoyed it uh, tremendously. So. A uh, game that I didn't think I'd like, but I ended up liking, Mega Man Legends. Question 5. What's a game you spent the most amount of time of hours on? I've done it with quite a few games. Most recently, I would say uh, Bait and Kaidos, Eternal Wings and Lost Ocean for GameCube. I spent about 77 hours on that one, but I think Persona 5 beat that. I spent well over 100 hours on Persona 5, and I enjoyed both Bait and Kaidos and Persona 5. So, uh, I would say that it would probably be Persona 5. Um, like I said, well over 100 hours. Bait and Kaidos was a close second at 77. Um, enjoyed playing both those RPGs, they had really great aspects, gameplay, story, enjoyed them very much. So enjoyed Bait and Kaidos a little bit more than Persona 5 story, but uh, this is about hours, Persona 5. Question 6. If you had to marry the last video game character you played, who would it be? That would be Mega Man, because I am replaying Mega Man Legends right now, and I am enjoying it more so now than I ever did back in the day. Um, I'm halfway through it, 
So I'm hoping to finish it and do a game review on it for you guys. Um, be interesting, married to Meg Man. He can blast all my problems away. Definitely blast you away. <laughs> so uh, yeah, game character, Mega Man. Number seven is closely related to number six. If you could live in a world with the last game you played, again, that would be Mega Man Legends. Um, interestingly enough, you know, it's a small game, it's a small world, small town, small shopping center, a lot of mountains. Kind of reminds me of me being home here in the White Mountains. It's a very small town, it's not a whole lot of shopping centers here. Um, there are mountains everywhere, of course. So, uh, that's how it reminds me of Mega Man Legends. And Mega Man Legends reminds me of this in general. So, uh, live in a world of the last game. Mega Man Legends, also. Question number eight. Have you ever had a crush on a video game character? Well, I've never really had a crush on a video game character. I've, there are some characters that are cute, and I've been attracted to them, don't get me wrong. Uh, Kasala from Rogue Galaxy, her mother, when they first presented her, I thought she looked very pure, beautiful and uh, I love the outfit that she wore and the makeup they put on her. Um, yeah, I thought she was very cute. Of course, uh, others are like Felicia and Morgana from the Dark Soccer games. Um, that's coming from pubescent version of me. Because uh, I just thought that they looked really, really hot. But never really had a crush on any game character. So the answer to that, no crush on any game character. And coming down to the wire, number, oh, I'm sorry, number nine. Uh, what's the first game you ever remember playing? I would have to say it would be E.T. That or Pitfall on the Atari. I am 38 and I had an Atari when I was three. I remember my mom playing it. And she's the one who really got me into video games. Um, but I mainly remember playing E.T., collecting the little Reese's Pieces. Uh, I believe being chased by the sheriff or the cop who, if I remember correctly, kind of looked like the sheriff dressed up in Stranger Things. Uh, really good show, I would definitely recommend it. Um, and then you would just go from level to level collecting those Reese's Pieces. So, again, not too many memories. I was very young, but first game I ever remember playing, my mind is saying E.T. for the Atari. And finally, have you ever pretended to be sick to get out of something just so you could play a game? <laughs> Absolutely. I know I've called into work a few times for things to play games. I told friends that I can't hang out with them because I'm busy doing other things. When I just wanted to play games, uh, when Dragon Quest VIII came out, I called in for work on that one. Uh, played that one practically all day because I had the house to myself. Uh, Resident Evil Zero was another one that I did it on. Um, I actually told a friend I couldn't go to their son's birthday party, which is really, really bad, I know, but I really wanted to play Resident Evil Zero on the GameCube because it was such a different Resident Evil game for me at the time. So, yes, uh, I have uh, pretended to be sick or uh, got out of something just so I can play the video games. And that right there ends the first 10 questions and part one of the three-part Q&A to get to know me a little bit better as a gamer. Um, I hope that you gemstones enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making this and I can't wait to see how you react to it. Feel free to comment below and I can't wait to work on questionnaires two and three to see what you guys get out of that. Um, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed everything that you saw, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for my latest videos.